In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create relationships between two tables. Now, when you're setting up a database, for example, if you have a database and you're going to set up a, a student information um, database, you would have a table that would have the contact information for the students, for example, their address, um, their telephone number, in one table called a contacts table for example and then in another table you could have the parent information or the guardian information table for the student right and then you could have another table for example a table containing the grades for the different subjects that the student would do so in this instance that I'm giving an example, we have identified three tables, the student contact um, details, the student parent information, and the grades information that we're using as an example for a school database. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we have two tables and we're going to create relationships. When we create relationships, we, we are actually linking the tables, right? Using two similar field names in the two tables. And I'll show you what I mean. So to create a relationship, what you would do after you've opened your database, right? Then you would need to have at least two tables. Here I have a table called customer buying table and in this table it has a customer code the product name the category the wholesale price the selling price the margin etc right then it this database also has the customer a table which I labeled as customer table right so in this table it has the customer code, the cost, the name of the company that buys from this particular company, which is our company. We have the contact information for the person who works at this company that buys our products, right? You have the first name, the last name, the title of the person, and the address for the company the city that the company is located in and the rating right that we assign to this um, company that buys from us right now the rating is subjective it is our rating of the company right so for example if a company pays on time then they would have a high rating if they take a longer time to pay than the time that we specify then they may have a, a lower rating okay and here now we have the cost for the item that the product the purse that company purchase right so we have our two tables we have to have at least two tables to create relationships what we're going to do now we're going to go up to the database tools tab on the ribbon i'm going to click on it right then we're going to go and we're going to click relationships under the relationships group we're going to click on it now what i'm going to do i already have, have this these three tables home what i'm going to do i'm going to delete them all right so i'm going to click on the table i'm going to delete i'm going to click on this table and delete delete right so what what you have to do to create the relation uh, let us go back right we're going to save yes. All right, so we're going to go back again. So um, database tools, relationships. Then here now, show table. You can click this icon that says show table. You click on it, and here the show table dialog box appears. So we're going to add the customer buying table. So we're going to click add. There it is. Then we're going to click or select the customer table i'm going to click add right then we're going to close all right now 
The relationships are there already because I created it in another video, I believe. So what I'm going to do is right click, delete, click yes. Let's do this again. Right click, delete. Okay. What we have to do, we have to close these two tables here to delete it. Alright, so we're going to close this table. We're going to close this table and let's come back now. So we're going to right click, delete, click permanently delete, yes, and there it is deleted, right? So that is how you would solve the problem if it's not deleted, right? You need to close the tables, right? And I click yes, good. So here are my three tables, right? What I can do is um, widen the these boxes so you can see all the um. All right, now we have two tables. We can delete this one. I'm gonna delete this one. Is the same thing as the one over here. All right. So here now. You need to have two, the same, you need to have the same field name in the two tables, right? So this is a customer table. This is a customer buying table. If you want to see the, the full um, field name, you can widen the box, right? So what, to create the relationship, what we have to do is first, we have to make sure that we have two similar field names right that are spelled the same and are the same right so here I have an underscore between customer and code and we have an underscore between the words customer and code so we have two similar field names what you're gonna do is use your left button on the mouse you're gonna click on the customer code I'm gonna come I'm gonna drop it on this customer code here then this edit relationships dialog box is going to come up, right? We can select um, enforce referential referential integrity and then we click create, right? And this is how you create relationships between tables in a database, specifically the Microsoft Access database. Now, if you look, if you look carefully here, you have a one here, and you have an infinity sign. What is what this is saying is that we have a one to many relationship. Okay, so this brings us to the end of today's video. In today's video, I showed you how to create relationships between tables in a database, and in today's video, I showed you how to do the relationship for two tables, right? So to recap, in a database, we have different tables, right? Now in order to link the tables, we have to create relationships. And that is what I showed you in this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to do a query. So we are looking forward to seeing you in that video. Please take care until then. Bye. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment and share.